All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Gun wide, trips deep. Pros next, go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Ready. What's going on everyone, Ancap24 here from huddle.gg. In today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of a mini scheme out of an under center run first formation, um, in which I'm gonna show you some really nice plays to uh, use as far as pass plays to complement the run plays in it. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification to make sure that you never miss any of our uploads. So the formation we're gonna be looking at is called the I form Y off. It can be found in the Lions, uh, the Texans and the Raiders playbooks. Um, I think that the Raiders have the most plays, but um, the one that I'm showing you right now is the Texans because I feel like the Texans have a little bit better of the run plays and we're going to show you three different pass plays to complement the run plays. So this might be a little bit of a longer video, but I'm going to try to go through it pretty quickly to kind of show you what I like about it and kind of go from there. Now, the plays that we're going to look at when it comes to pass plays, it's going to be this double dig. Then I'm going to look at this um, play called PAX dig and a play called PA PA cross, right? Um, I don't know why it's two PAs, but it's definitely that way. So we're going to just start off by just calling stretch every play. And I'm going to flip it because that's how the scheme is um, on the left hash. The only reason why I do that is because it's a right handed quarterback for the most part. Um, you want to have some of these plays going to the right. Now, what's nice about this stretch is that you're able to run it towards the tight end or flip it towards the other player. Um, we do do this motion where we're going to move digs over. So depending on what you're seeing, you can definitely run, you know, if they have a defense that flips to the other side, like man coverage, you definitely want to run it back to the other side. If not, then you're going to want to run it to the, um, the side in which the um, wide receiver goes to, right? Stretch is stretch. Don't want to get into it too much, but you know stretch is kind of tough to stop, especially in a formation like this. The other play you can see here is the 95 Willie. Now 95 Willie basically has a pulling guard and it has a fullback that gets out wide. Really nice when it comes to this. If you do this motion that we're going to show you here with digs, you know, to keep it consistent, you're going to see here that we're going to have that ability to just overload and kind of get more of an inside presence. Um, this is definitely something that I would use more for short yardage because it's going to be something that it's going to be very hard to shoot. Um, and you can see here that you can also flip it towards the other side and not do any motion. And you can see how you're going to have a lot of opportunities to get some easy yards because it's got a pulling guard and it's a quick handoff, right? So those are the run plays. Don't want to get too into detail the run plays. Just want to make sure that this will set up your offense. Now let's look at the pass plays. And the first play I want to look at is going to be this PAX dig. Okay. Now this X route is one of the better routes in the game when it comes to getting in a soft spot. And this is going to beat all coverages. Just put the B on a streak and move this guy over. Right. Now what you're going to see is that you're going to have the A be basically either a blocker, which is the tight end or you can put them on any other route. I'm gonna put them on a streak just so that there's a, a presence of a route on the left-hand side so the user doesn't like always just bail out to the right. And against cover three, what you're gonna see here is that this route is gonna just get in a spot that nobody's gonna be at, right? It's just gonna be one of those easy throws to the sidelines and you're gonna see how you can have a lot of success with it. I'll show it to you here um, against cover two. And you're gonna see it's gonna be the same thing, right? I'm gonna move this guy over. And you're gonna see here that with cover two, all you're gonna do is put the B on a streak and you're gonna get that same exact spot against cover two. And you're just gonna be able to just, you know, obviously hit that player for a good amount of yards. Now cover four drop, it works exactly the same way. This route just basically gets in a spot that, um, let's just make sure that I call the play. And, you know, you can see how the guys do shift. That would be something that you might want to start off in this play when you run it rather than audible to it. So that way it's not as much of a tell. But you can see here, this is cover four drop. You're going to have that same exact spot that you're going to hit with this player. You just go ahead and throw it over here and you got yourself an easy, you know, game. We're getting about to the 35 yard line. And what you can see here that we start on the 30. So um, it, it's a pretty good game. You're talking about 20 yards plus an extra 15. You're talking 35 yards worth of, um, you know, of a pass. Most people aren't going to play a huge amount of um, zone depths against this type of formation because of the fact that you're not really attacking with crossers or corners. So um, because of that, you're going to kind of get them in a spot where they're going to have to adjust after you've beat them a couple of times. Okay, that's what I like about that play. So the next play I'm going to be looking at, guys, is going to be the PAPA -PA cross. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on a streak, the X on a fade. We're gonna motion the fade over and put the fullback on an option route. And the reason why I like him on an option route is because it's gonna look like he's blocking. 
to the right. And then um, it also stops in the middle of the field. So it's another nice um, you know, opportunity to throw it to them. Now what happens here is that the B is gonna be open pretty much against any coverage as well. But there's a hidden um, type of benefit against cover three to where the cornerback sometimes doesn't react well to the X and he kind of stops a little bit and you get a one play score. It's a little inconsistent, but it definitely happens and it's definitely something I look for in game. So I'll just kind of show you what I mean. This guy, if you look over here, did the guy stop? He didn't see how he stopped there at that last moment and we were able to throw it to the B. But if you wait on it, a lot of times you're going to show that it's going to, the guy's going to stop a little bit earlier and have the one play score. So it's kind of had to run it a couple of times just to see and kind of show you what I mean by that. But it's a really nice play, um, regardless if it's a one play score or not, right? It's just, um, you've got the ability to hit the Y, you have the ability to hit the fullback, you have the ability to hit the B, and then you've got the added bonus of hitting, um, the X route when the guy stops. See how he kind of wants to stop there and he's just not doing it? Um, a lot of times he will. And um, hopefully I can get you an easy rep here to see it just so you can look at it. But, um, you know, you can go through your progressions. Your progressions are going to basically be looking for the, um, the guy to stop. But you also got the RB as a dump off. Then you got the B. Let's go ahead and just hopefully we'll get it on this try so you can see it. And the B here. See how he stopped that time? And now we're going to be able to throw it to him for a one play score. So that cover three is a nice little benefit, but it does beat all other coverages. Um, I'll show it to you against cover two just so you can see it. But for the most part, what you're doing here is you're just doing a, a flood concept with the same exact um, motion just to keep things, you know, a little bit um, uh, the scheming aspect to be alive, right? So I like it because of the play action. It looks like what it is. Now you can see here that the B is just going to get wide open, right, against cover two. Um, Real simple, same thing against cover four, um, basically same thing. Let's go ahead and look at the next play, which is double dig. And when you play against people that are struggling against the run, a lot of times they're gonna go to cover four drop. The reason why is because cover four drop has two safeties that are in the run fits and they come down, they don't really back up as much, they come down and help you. The cover, this play here is really nice and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we're doing as far as um, the putting the X on a streak and motioning them over. And what you're going to see on this play is that the B is going to get underneath the left safety against cover four, and you're going to have a really nice pass. Now, what I want to make sure that I make a mention to, you want to throw this ball before he reaches the left hash mark, or he'll hesitate and kind of stop. All right, so I'll show you to you a good rep here. B's going to go kind of over here, step up in the pocket, throw it before he hits that spot, and you're going to see how you're going to have that nice ability to throw it over there, right? If I wait until he hits the hash mark, I'll show you the difference, right? Um, let's go ahead and look at this um, double dig, move this guy over. And you can see how double dig doesn't have any you know, movement when it comes to those players. So it's a good play to kind of mix in with your runs. But let's go ahead and make sure that we're in um, cover four drop. And let's get that guy back there so we're not cheating him. Let him settle. All right. So this time I'm going to wait until I'm past the hash marks. And what you're going to see is if I wait too long, see how that guy stops? and you're not really gonna have the success that you're looking for. You wanna make sure you throw this before the hash marks. Um, and that's a lot of times, guys, with, with post routes, um, knowing that is, is a big deal. Um, sometimes, you know, you, you wonder why somebody does something where, um, you know, uh, they end up not doing the route that you thought they were gonna do, um, or they stop. It's because of the timing of the route. And sometimes you just want to find a landmark on the field to say, I have to throw it before this or it's not going to work. You know, cover is usually just a three man drop. So you can see this guy got to kind of hit. But you see here that I was able to, you know, kind of do it. I kind of, um, you know, didn't get the, the full uh, throw because I kind of bumped into somebody. But you guys can see it. So I wanted to show you a scheme. They got two run plays. You've got a nice um, all, um, you know, coverage beater um, in both the plays the the pax dig and the pa uh cross and then you've got the cover three bomb when it comes to the pa um x dig and then you've got the double dig as a cover four bomb so kind of just something to kind of look at have some fun with if you're a runner you can definitely mix this in and have some great success